patients, my name is Dr. Sandman. I hope that all of you are doing lit. I feel like a mess, I'm sweaty, it's so hot. Anyways, I am starting a new series on my channel called Let's Get This Bread. Basically, I'm gonna be making all the different types of bread and it is going to be a journey. I don't know how long this uh, series is gonna be. It could be three videos, it could be 300 videos, it could last a week, it could last seven years, who knows, not me. I've never made bread before, that's a lie. I've made bread twice before, it was the same kind of bread, but here's the uh, problem. Both times I made it with my friend Sandy in high school, um, and the first time it, it didn't work. We just didn't make edible bread. But both times, Sandy did most of the work. Um, I measured ingredients. I effectively did nothing. So I've never made bread before, so I will be teaching myself how to make bread. I might fail at this, um, but I'm not going to practice this whatsoever. I am not going to practice a recipe and then show you guys my attempt at it. I am going to do every recipe that I try the first time around and if it doesn't turn out, you're going to see that it doesn't turn out. If it's successful, you're going to see that it's successful. I'm also like not a baker. I don't cook. I don't really make food. Um, I don't mean to stroke my ego or anything, but I'm really good at boiling water. I will say that. Um, never burnt it. If you want to follow these videos, um, they are going to all be vegan as well. So if you're vegan, you're not going to have to replace any of the ingredients that I'm going to be using in these videos. So that'll be all set. If you're gluten free, that might be a little bit more of an issue. You might have to find substitutes because um, I don't know how to make uh, gluten free stuff. I assume it's not hard. I, I assume it's not like um, too difficult to substitute things. I'm going to be making lots of different types of bread for this. I'm going to be making regular bread. I'm <laughs> I'm going to be making uh, sweet breads and things of that nature. I'm also going to be making things that are just bread-like that fall into the bread category, um, like croissants. I don't know if those are technically a bread, but I feel like they fall, excuse me, I feel like they fall into that category. We'll see. And um, I also might do things that start off as bread and end up being a bread dish. So maybe I'll have bread pre-made and um, we'll make garlic bread or something like that. Um, we'll see. There's a few reasons why I wanna be making uh, these bread videos. One is because I think it's a good life skill to have. I think cooking or baking anything is a good uh, life skill to have. Um, and I don't know how to do this, so I wanna teach myself how to do that. I also want to pass down a useful skill to my children one day that I will unfortunately have because I got a tortoise I'm inheriting, he's got to go to somebody because he's going to outlive me, it's a whole story. I want to teach them that and I'm French, uh, I have French heritage on my mother's side and baking bread is kind of what we do. Uh, so I want to be able to uh, share that part of our heritage and stuff like that with them. I'm going to be making different kinds of French bread, I'm also going to be making bread from other cultures and things like that. And I want to be able to teach them how to do that, but I can't do that until I know how to do it. So I have to teach myself <laughs> first how to do it. Um, and also because I have ARFID, which if you don't know what that is, it's a disorder called Avoidant Restrictive Food Intake Disorder or ARFID. I might do a video on that one day if you don't know what that is. Um, and bread is one of the few foods that I could eat lots of different kinds of, um, not every kind, um, but more than most foods. So I want to be able to do this and I think it'll be fun. Today we're going to be making <coughs> rainbow challah bread. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, challah bread is a Jewish bread and I found this recipe uh, from a video with one of my favorite drag queens, Miss Cracker, and uh, she made it with another person. <laughs> I forgot his name. Uh, I'm so sorry. Um, but they made a rainbow version of it to celebrate her Jewishness and her being gay, and it's good. So I'm going to try to make it. I have never made challah bread, I've never made bread in general, but I've looked at the recipe and I've watched them do it a couple times, and I think I can maybe do it. Here's what you're going to need. For your ingredients, you're going to need flour, um, this is just all-purpose flour. You're gonna need yeast. No infections here, not on today. You're gonna need salt. Um, I picked up uh, pink Himalayan salt because 
Um, I was informed that it tastes the same. It's healthier. Also, it's pink. Uh, gay. <laughs> it's fun. I also did not have salt prior to getting the stuff for this recipe, so I was just like, well, might as well. You are going to need vegetable oil. I have it. It's over there, I promise. You're going to need this. This is Bob's Red Mill Egg Replacer. Uh, you could also use flax seeds. I think that flax seeds, um, if you use that, the um, proportions are going to be different. I think the measurements are going to be different. I don't know, so you might want to look into that. Um, <laughs> Do that on your own time. And yeah, that's that's what we're going for. This is our egg replacer for today. Um, you're also gonna need coconut oil. Let me show you guys my oil. This is my coconut oil. It has 100% melted. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but that's what we're working with. Um, it is 100% melted because it is just so hot in my apartment. Um, can you see me sweating? Ugh. Some of it's highlighter, I swear. It's all like completely melted she's a liquid which isn't really a problem for us today because we're using this as the glaze you're also going to need some wawa um some water you're also going to need some poppy seeds make sure if you eat this recipe that you don't have a drug test the day after it's poppy seeds will be confused for opiates that's, that's a truth fact materials that you're going to need uh, you're going to need bowls i pray to everything that uh, this is going to be big enough. I think it will be. Uh, I have multiple spoons that we are going to need. We need measuring spoons, measuring cups. I have those over there. Um, you're going to need food coloring. Um, you can get vegan food coloring off of Amazon. And you're going to need a little something to sip on because it's going to take a while. So I got some water right in my skull jar. And last, but most importantly, you are going to need a cooking buddy. This is Frasier, and I have elected him to be my kitchen cooking buddy. He uh, watches over my kitchen, makes sure it's safe, and makes sure that it is a um, suitable domain for creating cuisine. But forgot to mention, you're going to need something to put all this stuff on when you bake it. Um, this is a cookie sheet, but I feel like it's non-discriminatory and we can use bread on this as well. You we also need parchment paper. Not sure that I mentioned it, but you're also going to need sugar. Um, and yeah, I think that's all the supplies that you need. Okay, I'm reading the recipe and I'm already suffering. <laughs> so, um, we're going to start off with lukewarm water. We can do that. Yeah, we can do that. How much water do we need? We need a half a cup of water lukewarm and then what are we gonna need uh yeast two teaspoons of active yeast okay i am adding this is a half a cup of water into my big green bowl and then i got one of these yeast <laughs> i got one of these yeast packets oh my god i hope we don't fuck this up why did they package it like this Oh, you're supposed to cut it. All right, word, cool. I, I, okay, I thought this wasn't gonna be funny. I thought this was just gonna be like me making bread, but no, gotta suffer. One of these has approximately uh, two and a quarter teaspoons and we need how many? Two teaspoons, so this is going to be like just enough. I don't know how or if I'm gonna save the leftover one quarter teaspoon. What does yeast look like? I gotta know. I gotta know. Well, I'm gonna find out. So. Oh. Doesn't smell like anything. Two teaspoons. Cool. This looks different than I expected. I thought it was gonna be like just a straight up powder. Mm. One. Why is it so hard for gays to bake and drive? Oh, this smells different. It smells like bread now. <laughs> okay, I think, I think I did that right. And I do, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna seal it. I'm gonna fold it and I'm gonna put it back in the fridge. <laughs> okay, word, now what's next? And then we have to put in the flour, 200 grit. Oh, oh, mm. 
Excuse me for a minute while I Google what the conversions for that is. <laughs> get my flour, my all-purpose flour, if you will. Um, and I have to sprinkle it seven eighths of a cup. I don't have that kind of measuring cup, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. It's almost a cup, so. And then you have to sprinkle that on to create a barrier between the yeast and the other ingredients, or so it has been explained to me. If this falls, I'm legit gonna cry. Okay, so this is one cup. All right, let's do it. Almost a cup, almost a cup. Let's do it, let's get it. That's over a cup. Cooking is like, has, I'm, I'm sprinkling it over just like it says, and um, cooking is like more, um, you can kind of just guess and like mess with the ingredients until you like it. Whereas baking is like a science because it's literally chemistry, so you have to get everything like perfect. Um, but that's not what's happening today. <laughs> no, ma'am. Add the salt, sugar, and oil. Cool. Salt. How much salt do we need? We need two tisps of salt. My pink salt. I have to open it. Dude, this is gonna be so gay. I can't wait for it to be gay. Okay, while I'm getting the salt, let me tie you up with something. All right, I'm gonna say some uh, spoilers for All Stars 5, is it? Are we on five already? Mm. Uh, of RuPaul's Drag Race. So when I wink again, that means that the spoilers are over, so mute it now, immediately. So when I saw the the final three, um, that it was uh, Shay, Miss Cracker, and UGB, I was like, can, Ru, can we please have the first triple win? Because they were the three that I wanted to win the most. And when I found out that that was the three that we had ended up with, I was just like, I will be happy if any one of them wins. Can we please have a triple win? They're my favorites. They are my three favorites. When I saw that they were announced for the season, I was so pumped up. Is this really two teaspoons? That's so, that looks like a lot. All right, if you're sure. Um, <laughs> I'm using another cup to catch the extra, but um, yeah, and, and when I saw that was the three, I was so, I was like, okay, I don't even need to watch the rest. I don't even need to know who wins. I'm happy. I saw Shay won and I was so happy for her. She totally deserves it. She's never failed us. This is not working at catching the rest of the salt. Anyway, Okay, <laughs> the spoilers are over. I'm using another cup, another measuring cup to catch the extra salt. This seems like a lot of salt. I just realized I could like unscrew the cap of the salt and scoop it out. This is gonna be a journey. It's gonna be a journey. We're gonna get there together though. It's gonna work. One teaspoon. Two teaspoons. Is this satisfying for you? Does that do anything for you? Okay, I'm sorry I'm like this. Okay. We need one third a cup of sugar. Please tell me I did. Yep, I used a third a cup to catch the extra. Well, mm, remember my mom. Oh no, I'm spilling it everywhere. Oh no, I remember my mom. Oh no. <sighs> she had these big glass jars. Um, one was filled with flour and the other was filled with sugar and I'm really missing those right now. Um, so one third a cup of sugar, sucre, as the French say. Three tablespoons. Ooh, it's a thickums. Three tablespoons of oil. Can you believe that? One heads of canola oil. Oh, well, it says vegetable oil. Eh, it's the same thing, right? I think if this is ruined because I used the wrong oil, I'm gonna scream. Oh, it's all getting wet, oh no. And we need three of these, okay. Okay, wait, we have another bowl. Okay, so we're gonna need three tablespoons of the uh, Bob Red Mill Egg Replacer and six tablespoons of water. Three tablespoons of Bob's Red Mill Egg Replacer, yee! And then we need six of those of water. And we need to mix that in. This is a separate bowl, by the way, for having this bottle. We got some Wawa. Wawa. Water, Helen! If you know what that's from, I'm so sorry. Um, if you don't, you're lucky. Don't look it up. Count with me, kids. Hmm, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Whoop. That sounds like a drip of water. Whoop. I think I'm going to have to clean this bowl when I'm done adding in the fake eggs because I'm going to need it because I do not have a lot of bowls. And then once we're finished stirring in the, um, the egg mixture, the fake egg mixture, um, make sure there's no lumps as best as you can and um, let it sit for one minute. It's been a minute and this has, it's going to be like a little bit of a, not really a paste, um, but then you're going to pour it into the mixture. And then we're going to start stirring finally at long last. It looks so gross before, but I think it's going to come together. I think it's, I think we're going to be okay. And it says on the instructions, that it's going to be hard to uh, avoid lumps at this phase. So um, I'm going to trust the process. Alrighty. So the next step says to divide it evenly between the six small bowls. Here's the problem. Well, it's not a problem. Here's the situation. Uh, we have six various size bowls um, because that's just what I have to work with and we love diversity in this household so <laughs> let's split this shit shall we? I don't know how else to split this other than scoop so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna... oh I have an idea I got an idea guys okay so what I'm gonna do is <laughs> I'm going to scoop into each bowl once and then keep going in that order until we have an even amount. I think that works. Houston, we have a problem. Um, so, all right. Um, there's a whole lot of nothing in all of these bowls. Um, that, like, I don't know if you can see that. That's not a lot. That's, that's a whole lot of nothing. Um, we're gonna work with it. We're gonna trust the process. Okay, now is when we add the food coloring and make it all beautiful. So I just added all the food coloring and it took a little bit, a little bit, a little while, a little, hmm. Um, and the ones I'm happiest with are the purple. And the yellow, but that don't those look great? Okay, so next step is to add 50 grams, or for all of you Americans, um, a quarter cup of flour. You, uh, after you add the flour, mix to incorporate, and then you have to knead them individually for about five minutes. Can do. Bam. For the greenie. For the yellow-bellied gutta trash. For... I'm blue, da ba da ba da 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 ba da Okay. For the one horn one eyed flying purple people eater. For the orange you glad, I'm not making this into another pun. Okay. <laughs> and for the red for fill, let's keep this in with a drag queen theme, shall we? And then mix it all with the spoon, and then uh, once I do that, I will need them. Might I add that this is a bit ambitious for my first attempt at making bread solo. Um, this is, this is a lot. This is a lot. Is this it? Is this how I'm going to find out that I did not distribute them evenly? <laughs> I think this is it. I think this is how I find out that I did not um, evenly divide the bowls. These look um, interesting to say the least. This one, this one I think is the only one that was accurately um, measured out. The rest, not so much. I am now taking a miniature break um, because I'm waiting for my mom to come to my apartment and drop off coconut milk. Can you see how much disarray my life is in? Oh my god, I look horrible. All right, well, back to your regularly scheduled program. It has now come time for me to knead everything. Not sure how this is gonna work. The recipe says, I gotta take my rings off. The recipe says to use, um, uh, gloves that are okay for cooking and for food. Food safe, food safe gloves. I don't have those, so we're getting stained fingies. Uh, my color theory expertise tells me, I feel like I'm going in for a fight. Um, our color theory instincts tell me that I should start with a yellow, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, let's do 
Oh yeah, that, oh, I don't like how that feels. <laughs> that feels awful. <laughs> I'm just getting it off the spoon. Oh man, that sucks. Oh yeah, I'm definitely trudging through the ninth and final layer of hell. I know that's that layer's for traders, um, but Oh, this suck. Oh, my nails. I have super long nails, in case you guys didn't see. Um, so this is not a good time. I'm gonna not show this process, because I'm not having a good time. Oh man, I'm gonna get dough on my camera. I will have you guys know that um, I have needed two of the colors now, and it is now 100% confirmed that I did not divide them evenly. Um, so before I was pretty sure, now I'm positive because the yellow was horrible to need and the orange needed like a dream. So um, that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna need the rest of them. Okay, so I'm on my red and my hands are not getting stained at all. I don't know if it has anything to do with the brand or the kind of food coloring, um, but they're not getting stained. I am washing them in between each uh, color though. Um, just to make double sure, uh, you know, in case I uh, catch gold in between each uh, color. Uh, but it uh, looks like we're doing good. This is horribly getting under my nails, so I am washing under my nails too. So um, but that's, um, that's where I'm at in my journey. Okay, so kneading the green was something out of my nightmares. So the green is the bowl that I started off everything with. And there was just so much of it and I did not add it nearly enough flour so I kept adding flatter, flour and I kept adding flour and I think I added another three quarters of a cup another whole cup I don't know but it was a lot and it would not stop sticking to my hands and it was it it was a lawless wasteland up in here when I was kneading the green dough. Um, but now I'm on to the blue dough, and <laughs> this one's going great. Um, and I love it. Um, but yeah, it's it's going pretty okay. Also, I have you know what I have you guys set up on. You are standing on so many books. You're standing on at least four medical books. They're not mine, uh, obviously. Um, two different books filled with Edgar Allan Poe's um, short stories and poetry, um, Star Wars A New Hope, and Anthology of Irish Verse. So if that lets you know what, um, what I'm going through. Um, Frazier has uh, been of no assistance lately. He's pretty much uh, let me uh, do this all on my own. Um, and I don't know if this is how you need dough. I'm like aggressively just, you know, <laughs> just squeezing the ever-living piss out of it. Um, but he's in no help, so I've been doing this all by myself, so. All right, so I have finished um, kneading all the different colors of dough. This is what they all look like. And the next step is to leave them in clean bowls, um, which I'm not gonna do. Um, not because I don't want them to be in clean bowls, but because I think these bowls are fine. Like, I don't think it's gonna hurt them to just be in the bowls that I mix them in. Um, I could be very wrong. Again, I know nothing. Uh, I don't know, shit about shit. So, um, I may be making a detrimental mistake. Um, but that's how we're gonna work it today. And then we're going to cover them. Um, I don't know what width I'm gonna have to improvise. For how long? Leave to rise for two to three hours. Okay, I'll see you. Um, I have to cover these. It says with a shower cap or with a tea cloths or something like that. I don't have any of that. I'll figure something out. Um, I did not have anything else, literally, so I'm just gonna cover them with paper towels and hope for the best. Almost forgot. It says to cover them in oil, so I'm gonna be using my coconut oil for that. And um, I'm gonna be using a paintbrush because I do not have a pastry brush. I meant to get one last week and I forgot. So that's where we're at. I have never used this um, this paintbrush before, so um, it's not gonna be like a, an issue. I did also wash it before using this. So yeah, I'm gonna start with the yellow again. Yeah. Yeah. This is cute. I like this. Okay, let's get into it. Um, it, it ugh, time has passed. If you see any shadows in these doorways, don't tell me, because I don't want to know that. Well, all of the
the um, dough has risen. The green is a green monster. Um, he's definitely the thickest. Um, everything else is definitely bigger, but I'm still smaller than the green, which is fine. And I've since cleaned the area that I am going to be cooking on and cooking. Well, oh, am I baking? And I'm going to be baking on, ooh, these are nice and yucky. Yes, don't want to touch that. Ooh, she's thick, okay. And we need to roll these into, to quote the website, sausage-like strands. Okay, let's do that. All right, um, I'm just gonna do that with my man hands. I think I made a mistake. I'm just working with these now and I already think I made a mistake. Um, <laughs> they're so hard. Oh my God. Don't tell me all this was for nothing. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think this was all for nothing. I'm rolling. I'm doing my best. Oh my God. This is so bad. This is awful. This is going terrible already. I love this. The website does not say to roll these um, with any flour and every time I've worked with any kind of baking or I haven't baked but I've watched my mom do it and occasionally she would uh, let me help um, and every time she did it she would like flour the surface um, a little just a little bit so it wouldn't stick. These aren't sticking necessarily but they're not doing what they're supposed to. Uh, I get why I had to put them in clean bowls, um, so I guess I should listen to professionals and not try to make my own way, um, because there's crumbs everywhere and it's not a good time. Um, oh yeah, I have so much green, um, and I have so little red. <laughs> Um, I don't think I could really get the red one to um, roll out anymore. I mean, I could try, but I don't want to risk tearing it. Um, I mean, I say that as I'm trying to roll it out even more. Um, so yeah, um, but the thicknesses are not the same and that is just going to have to be something that I accept. Um, they're all remarkably small, so I don't know how this is gonna play out. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we're at right now. This is how you have to divide them. You have to put them all up at the top um, and put the first three of the rainbow over here and the last three over here and then leave like a center part. Okay, so here's the problem. Do you see how massive this green one is? Um, oh my God. So here's where I think I went wrong. I did not divide them evenly and that's where it all went downhill. Um, then for the one because they were uneven and some were less than the others, the flour that I added, which was the same for all of them, was too much for the one where there wasn't enough dough. Um, and also I left them in unclean bowls. Other than that, I think I did great because this one and this one specifically haven't choice. Um, this one <laughs> and this one have given me the most problems thus far. And now we have to braid them. So I'm gonna put on the video I don't think this is gonna work very well. I'm gonna put on the video of Miss Cracker and Dan something, I can't remember his name, and I'm gonna watch it and braid it with them because I'm a visual learner in that way, so let's do it. So we're pinching the top of it. Okay. Okay. Where? This isn't going to work. <laughs> uh -huh. Hold up. Where'd you move? If you want to know how to braid it, just watch the video. I got to focus. It didn't work. So I just... I, everything went wrong when I did not divide them into the bowls evenly because there's just not enough length on these to braid them as much as they should be. Uh, so I gave up at the end, I just kind of like, uh, and, and, um, and I pulled some of the green off because there was just so much green. And now I'm just going to pinch the bottom together. It's just such a small piece of bread because I messed up. 
and I'm fine. Isn't she lovely? She started off fine, and then the, around here is when I ran out of length to go with. And then right around here um, is where I was just like, I have no more room to go with some of these, so I just did it randomly. And here's my extra green. And now I'm going to fold the end bits. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, and as they, as you do, and do the same up top. Okay, so after it's all braided, um, we put a piece of parchment paper onto the non-discriminatory cookie sheet, and then we gently move our baby. This is heavier than I thought it would be. Okay, not that it's heavy, but it's like, actually heavy. Oh, that actually doesn't look, okay, maybe it'll be fine. Um, and put it diagonal, not that it matters because this one's so small. <laughs> And then we, oh, we take our number that we used before paintbrush and we go back to our coconut oil. Um, now there are other things that you could use to glaze this um, because this, I, I talked to my mom about it that I, that I said I wanted to do this and she said that um, challah is technically a sweet bread. I don't know how she would know this. I don't know that she's ever eaten challah. Um, let alone made it, um, but sweetbreads, you can put, um, for some of them, you could put um, syrup on uh, as your glaze. I have syrup, I don't want to risk it though, so I'm going to stick with my coconut oil. And then we just get a little bit of our oil, and then we have a ball. Be an artiste, if you will. And then just slather that on, like add as much as you can on just for the hell of it, I'm gonna bake this too. I'm gonna to slather a lot in um, coconut oil. Um, then I have to cover it. I don't know what I'm gonna cover it with. Um, don't know. And then I have to leave it for about an hour to rise. Um, I don't know if it rise. <laughs> um, and then we get into the real spicy stuff. Um, but while I'm waiting for it to rise, I'm gonna make myself some dinner because I'm gonna be honest, I've been making this all day and I've only eaten two veggie burgers this morning, and that was, what time is it? Ooh, uh, that was 13 hours ago, so <laughs> I'm gonna make myself some dinner while I wait for this to impress me. I don't know how I'm gonna cover this, I'll figure it out. Okay, so I've just used a trash bag um, to cover it, and I've made sure that there is lots of room in there so it can breathe. And, yeah, I'll see you in an hour. <laughs> she has risen and oh my god, she's um she's definitely bigger than before. Well, let me see if I can show you without her dropping. Um she's not massive, uh she's a little on the petite side, but um she's definitely bigger than before. Once she has her coating, we're gonna add the poppy seeds. Alrighty, now I'm gonna find these the same way that I saw Miss Cracker do it in the video. So, um, I'm already dropping so many. So just kind of like rub them together over the bread until they just kind of fall over. Um, can you tell I'm tired? I'm so exhausted. Ooh. Already, so now I just have to wait for my oven to finish preheating to 375 degrees. Then it says to bake for 35 to 40 minutes, and then we will have some challah bread. That's how she's looking right now. Pretty, pretty interesting. Um, yeah. Okay, so this smells so good. She don't look that good, but she smelled great. Okay, so in the video that Miss Cracker did, uh, this, um, the bread turned out to be black. So this does not surprise me that it's not looking, you know? Um, so I guess we'll have to find out how it tastes when it cools down a bit, but otherwise it looks like, it looks like bread, it looks edible. <laughs> so I think that's a success on my part. So I've cut in to that little baby extra piece and it is green on, in on the inside. It's not as green as I would have liked, um, however, it's, it's still like identifiably green and I'm willing to bet that the larger slice of bread um, is 
even more green because it's a larger piece so I'm guessing this just cooked or, or baked rather a lot faster. I've also just baked things that have just not turned out the color they're supposed to be just because I suck at baking. Um, and um, that, that, such is the nature of baking things that you have colored. Um, but now is the true test, see what it tastes like, and I'm gonna show you guys the inside of the loaf as well when I cut into that tomorrow with my friends. Um, so let's see, how did I do? That's so good. Oh my god, that's so good. She is, it is the next day and I did not expect her to be this vibrant. Um, she could be more vibrant, but maybe that's just um, in a need for practice on my part. But oh my god, she smells incredible. She tastes even better. Love that for her. I, yes, good. Good. I would say this is a success, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos if you want to see more of these. Um, if you have a bread recipe that um, you think I should try, let me know. Um, I can't guarantee that I will try every recipe that people send me because I do have ARFID. And even though I, there are a lot of uh, different kinds of bread that I can't eat, that doesn't mean I can eat every kind of bread. Um, but yeah, so that'll be cool if you would want to do that. Um, make sure to leave a comment of anything you like. Did you think I fucked it up horribly? Is there something <laughs> integral to the challah bread that I just didn't do? Let me know. Um, and I'll leave all my social media as well as the recipe to this bread in the description below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.